Hey, Nikita here. This video has been requested a lot recently, both on the new channel and on the old one. Transmog gear. Most of you probably know what transmogrification is and how to transmogrify, but please bear with me while I explain it to those that don't know yet. Let's say you just bought yourself a PvP head, but you don't like how it looks. Transmogrifying an item changes it to look like some other item. So if you want this head to look like something else, you first need to get that other item. Once you have the item that you want your head to look like, just head over to the Dragon Orgrimmar where these guys are, or if you're playing Alliance, go to the edge of the Cathedral Square in Stormwind and look for the three winds. Once inside, talk to the Transmogrifier. You can now drag an item into the Transmog interface and it will display a preview of what your new look will be. If you're okay with it, just press apply and it's done. However, there are also certain rules in transmogrifying. First of all, you need to be able to equip both items, the one with the old and the one with the new look. Only the same types of items can be transmogged, cloth to cloth, mail to mail and so on. Types of weapons also matter, for instance, you can't change a sword into an axe, neither can you change a main hand weapon into an off hand weapon, but you can change it into a one handed weapon. The exceptions are also bow, crossbow and gun. Each of these three can be changed into any of the three, meaning you can change a bow to look like a gun. Only uncommon, rare or epic items can be transmogrified. Legendaries can't be transmogrified. If you transmog a leveling item and then mail it to your alt, it will lose transmogrification. Same goes if you sell an item and later buy it back. There are a few more small rules, but I think you get the idea. A lot of people have been asking me about my current transmog set, so in this video I will show you where to get this gear. The reason that my set is kinda unique is because the head and legs that I use for my set are not that easy to get if you don't know where to look for. You don't need to write anything down, the full list of items and links is in the description. Weapons aren't really a problem here, they can be almost anything you like. My dagger is transmogrified into Tracker's Blade. The item drops off of Rage Winter Chill which is the first boss in the battle for Mount Hygel. He looks like Kel'Thuzad and is very easy to kill, can be even soloed. Gloves, boots, bracers, belt and shoulders are from Malevolent Gladiator set. Chest is very easy to get, just let a tailor craft it for you, the name is Imbued Netherweave Tunic. Here's the tricky part. Headpiece is changed to look like Magare Ritualist's horns, which was the hardest to get for my transmog set. If you haven't done any quests for the Magar in Outlands, you will have to do a lot of quests for this item. First, you will need to go to Trollmar in Hellfire Peninsula and then later to Garadar in Nagrand. The links to the quest chains are in the description, so check it out. If you're a warlock, you will get this item much easier than a mage or any other class. One way to get the horns is to kill Gar, who is the fourth boss in Molten Core. The item that he drops is Felhard horns, but looks just the same. However, the easiest way to get this item for a warlock is to just complete the quest that your warlock trainer gives you at level 50. And the last part you need to know about is the legs piece. You can get Pants of the Naru if you complete a quest chain that starts in Shatrad. There is also a link to it in the description. If you visit the link, also check where it says same model as, because there are some items that look just the same and maybe some can be even easier to get than Pants of the Naru. I hope you liked the guide on my transmog set, but if you want to get some other set, make sure to check my mini guides on other sets that I also made. If you like a set, just click on it and you will get a detailed guide on how to get it. If you want me to make some more guides like this in the future, 
tell me in the comment below and also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.